Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a fire truck in Minecraft. As you guys can see here on the screen, this thing is pretty awesome. Really cool fire truck. Very easy to build. All that you're going to need for this build is red wool, quartz stairs, white concrete, black stained glass, black stained glass pane, stone slabs, item frames, light blue dye, ladders, buttons, a lever, rails, Block of redstone, brick slabs, iron bars, iron doors, diamonds, stone brick stairs, and black concrete. So once you get all that material, uh, get yourself ready and let's jump right into this build. Alright guys, so we're going to be building this fire truck right next to the one that's already built here on the screen so that you guys can compare and kind of see where we're going and, uh, and what might be happening next. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put down four black concrete blocks like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up two layers, so we're going to skip this one, and then we're going to go to this one, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So we should have two rows of four concrete blocks parallel, just like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go up nine blocks, and we're going to do one row of four concrete blocks. So we're going to go up nine blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on the ninth block, we're going to do the exact same thing, line it up. Make sure it's lined up just like that, and we're only going to do one row in the front. So as you guys can see on the fire truck that's already made, we've got two rows of wheels in the back, one row in the front, and it should look just like this. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get out our item frames, and we're going to put item frames on all the wheels going around the vehicle here so that it kind of looks like hubcaps. So it should take six item frames in total. And once we do that, we're going to use a diamond, and we're going to put the diamond in the item frame to make it look kind of like wheels and just add uh, a little flavor to it, make it look pretty cool. And when you're done, it should look something like this. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get out some stone slabs, and we're going to fill in the top layer of these con black concrete blocks with stone slabs, as you guys can see over here on this fire truck. So we're going to start in the back. If we're facing the back, what we're going to do is we're going to put one row in the very back. So one should be sticking out, and we don't want two blocks like that. We just want one. So make sure you only get one, and it should look like that coming off of the back. Then we're going to do the exact same thing right here in the middle, in between both of the tires, so it should look like this. And then we're going to do the exact same thing all the way from this layer back to the next layer. And again, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally put down two. Um, it's kind of hard not to. I don't know if, there, if there's like a secret to not doing it, but it's like every time I put down the first block, it does it. So if it, if it ends up being two stone slabs, um, don't worry about it. Just get rid of it and you can just fix it the next go around. So again, clear all these out just like this. An extra one there. Come over here. So when you're done, it should look like this with one row coming off the back and we're going to fill all this in. Then we're going to go to the front of the fire truck and we're going to come three rows out of concrete or uh, not concrete of stone slabs. So one two, <laughs> three. And once you get all three, again, just make sure you didn't double up. I messed up a bunch of these. So it should be three things of stone slabs coming off each one. So when you're done, it should look something just like this. We've got three rows in the front. We've got eight rows right here in the middle. And we've got one in between the tires and one behind the tire. So facing the back, this is what we have so far. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get four red wool blocks, and we're going to put four red wool blo blocks on the back of the fire truck just like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to this row of stone slabs. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put down four more blocks of red wool so it should look just like that. Then we're going to do the exact same thing on the first two rows of stone slabs. We're not going to go any further, just the first two. So we'll do these two just like this so that when you're done, it should look like that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to skip two blocks and we're going to place another row. So we're going to skip these two rows, start right here, and we're going to do four red blocks just like that. Then we're going to skip one more block and do one more row of red wool. So when you're done, it should look just like this. The next step, guys, is we're going to get out some more stone slabs. And right here on top of the tires where there's empty places in between this red wool, we're going to do what we did earlier with the stone slabs. We're going to put on the top layer. Make sure you don't double up. And when you're done, as you guys can see, I messed up there. It should look just like this. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our red wool back out. And as you guys can see here, we have a double space open where we left these two layers open a second ago. What we're going to do is we're going to go in one on each side and we're going to put down four red wool blocks. So we're going to do four right in the middle. And as you guys can see, there should be two empty on both sides. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go one more layer higher. So it should be just like this. 
and it should look the exact same thing on the other side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out our item frames and we're gonna put four item frames on each side. So four right here, and then we're gonna do four on this side, just like that. Then we're gonna get our diamond spike out and we're gonna put our diamonds on the bottom row on each side. So two diamonds on the bottom there. We're gonna go two diamonds on the bottom here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our light blue dye. We're gonna fill in the last four with light blue dye just to kind of mix it up. So when you're done, it should look just like this on both sides. As you guys can see on this fire truck over here, it's the exact same thing. And, uh, and yeah. All right, guys. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put down some white concrete. Pay close attention to where I'm putting it so that you don't get confused. We're going to put it on the outside of the fire truck, and we're going to leave the middle two blocks all the way through completely empty. So we're going to put down two right here. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. We'll put two on this side as well. And then we're going to go to the back. We're going to skip over this double uh, block high area that we put the item frames on. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put one on the outside all the way down like that. And we're going to go to the inside of the fire truck and do the exact same thing. So as you guys can see, we left the middle open and we're going to leave it that way for now. We'll mess around with that in a little bit, but this is what it should look like so far. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get out our court stairs and we're going to put down two court stairs, one on each side upside down. So we're going to put it in between these two red blocks right here. So it should be facing up just like that. Do the exact same thing on the other side facing up just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go one more up and we're going to do it on this side as well right before the front tire. So we're gonna face it up again, do the same thing right here. And when you're done, this is what that should look like on both sides of the fire truck. All right guys, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our stone brick stairs and we're gonna put down two stone brick stairs normally on these blocks. So this one and the one behind it. So when you're done, it should look just like that. As you guys can see, the stairs are normal, not upside down. Now that we have this done, we're gonna work on the back side of the fire truck first. We're gonna do everything on the right side of these stone brick slabs. So we'll finish this off first, and then we'll start working on the front. All right, guys, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our item frames again. And as you guys remember, we put down this line of white concrete on each side. We're gonna go to the white concrete block that's in between the two back tires, and we're gonna put one down just like that. And then inside, we're gonna fill it with a block of redstone. So that's gonna be one of our lights that flash when obviously the fire truck drives by, even though we're playing a game where the fire trucks can't drive. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. We're gonna put another item frame in between the two tires. Again, we're gonna put a block of redstone. and When you're done, it should look just like that on both sides. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get back out our red wool and our next layer is just gonna be red wool all the way across to where the stairs are. So we're gonna start where the stone brick stairs are. We're gonna go all the way across so it should look just like that and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So start from the stairs, go all the way down and when you're done, it should look just like this. Now on top of the red wool that we just placed down, we're gonna get out our quartz stairs and put upside down quartz stairs on all of the red wool that we just put down. So I'm gonna start by putting one like this so that I can get, get it upside down like that. And then once you have one that's upside down, again, we're just gonna go all the way down on top of all the red wool that we already have. So it should look something like this. And then we're going to do this exact same thing on the other side of the fire truck. So again, I'm really just going to put two down really quick. One there is a placement block so I can get one upside down. And again, once you get them upside down, you can kind of just go all the way down through the red wool. And when you're finished, it should look just like this on both sides. So I'll walk back over here as you guys can see. Now we have upside down stairs on top of all the red wool that we just placed. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get out our iron bars and we're going to put iron bars on every single one of these upside down stairs that we just placed. So really all you have to do is this. And as you guys can see, it looks like a ladder. We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. We're going to make another ladder up here. And when you're done, it should look just like that. It's starting to actually look like a fire truck now. So once you get your ladders done, we can move on. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to get out our brick slabs and we're going to put down two brick slabs on top of the last upside down uh, court stairs on the back of the fire truck, just like this. As you guys can see on the other one over there, this looks like the lights on top of a normal fire truck. So once you get down your brick slabs just like that, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get out our red wool. And as you guys can see here in the middle of the fire truck, not the layer where the stone stairs are, but the layer in front of it towards the back. We're going to fill all the way to the top with red wool. So it should look kind of like a giant Santa Claus chair. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of the fire truck and we're going to fill this entire thing up with red wool. 
and we're gonna go all the way up just like that we're not gonna go to the top we're gonna leave this layer that's right here exposing the outside to the top and then everything else is gonna be one layer lower so as you guys can see we're only gonna go too high all the way the rest of the way through the fire truck here so we're gonna fill this in and when you're done it should look just like this. As you guys can see, we're two layers high. We have one layer high right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our item frames back out. And on the very top here, we're gonna put down two more item frames, just like on that fire truck over there. And you can fill it with whatever. I'm gonna use light blue dye so that it looks cool. And when you're done, it should look something like this. All right, guys, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out some rails and we're gonna fill in rails on top of all of this red wool here, just like this. And when you're done, it should actually make a circle and connect itself. So it should look just like this on the back end of the fire truck. Now what we're gonna do is get some ladders out. We're gonna put down four ladders on the back end coming down from the top. So we're gonna put two right here, two right there, and we're gonna leave this open because we're gonna put some more stone slabs down here in just a second. All right, guys, once you have all four of your ladders down, we're gonna pull back out our stone slabs and we're gonna put down four stone slabs on the bottom part of the first layer of red wool. So it should look just like that. And we're gonna put down all four. And when you're finished, it should look just like this. All right, guys, the last thing that we need to do to the back of the fire truck is we're going to put down two more item frames on the white concrete blocks just like that. And we're going to put block of redstone in between so it looks like the lights in the back. And when you're finished, it should look just like this. This is going to be the back of the fire truck. And this is what it should look like when you're done. All right, guys, now we're going to finish working on the front of the fire truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out our white concrete blocks. And on the second layer of stone slabs from the front, we're going to put down four white concrete blocks so that it looks just like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very front of the fire truck. We're going to get back, back out our court stairs and we're going to put down four court stairs upside down. So it should look just like this put four down just like that and then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side except we're only going to put down two we're not going to put down four so one on each side so one right here and then one on this end with two spots in the middle that are open so that when we build the inside of the fire truck you actually have room to move around so again four upside down in the front two in the back with a row of white concrete blocks so it should look just like this the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get back out our stone slabs and we're going to put down one stone slab on top of this tire in between these two stairs just like that. We're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So it should look just like that. Then we're going to get back out our white concrete. We're going to put down a white concrete block on top of each of the slabs we just placed. Just like so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get back out our iron bars and we're going to put down four iron bars on the back end of all four of these concrete blocks. So one on this side or two on this side like that. And then we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So one off of each of these four concrete blocks, just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get back out our red wool. And on top of each of these white concrete blocks, we're going to put down red wool. So we'll put down four red wool blocks, just like this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get out our levers and we're going to put down four levers on each of these red wool blocks, just like this facing up. So it should look like that. All right, guys, the next step is we're going to get out our iron doors and we're going to put down four iron doors. We're going to put it in this empty space right here, but this empty space we're going to leave open. We're going to put the other two on this side. So we're going to put two in the middle, just like this one right here, one right there. And then we're going to do it closer to the front of the fire truck. So one right there and one right here. Again, we're going to leave this side empty. So this should be able to just, you should be able to just fly through right here. There's going to be nothing there. So two iron doors on this side, two on that side, just like so. The next thing that we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get back out our red wool, and we're going to do a red wool kind of a C shape. So we're going to go one right here. We're going to go all the way around. We're going to do a little outline all the way in so that we leave a space where the iron doors are, and it should look just like this. Now is when we need our black stained glass and our black stained glass pane. So we're going to use the regular black stained glass, and we're going to put one on each end here. So we're going to do one right here and one right here, and then these four blocks we're actually going to put down glass pane. And the reason for that is because we're going to add one more to each side. So this one's going to stick out like that. And then over here, we're going to have one that sticks out like that. And the reason for that is when you do that, they kind of look like mirrors on the side of the fire truck. It'll look better when it's finished. As you guys can see on the finished product over here, it looks a whole lot better. They actually look like mirrors sticking out. So we're going to use two stained glass full blocks on the ends, just like that. And then we're going to put down four glass pane on this one and then one sticking out on each side. So again, it should look just like this. All right, guys, now we're going to get back out our item frames and right under each of the black stained glass blocks, we're going to put down an item frame 
uh, with a block of redstone. Again, this is just adding more lights to the fire truck. So again, right under the glass, um, full block. So it should look just like this on both sides. We're then gonna go to the front of the fire truck and we're gonna put down two more frames on the red wool, one on the outside here, one on the outside there. Again, two more blocks of redstone in those. So those are gonna be the front lights. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add ladders. So let me get my ladders back out and we're gonna put two ladders in between both of these lights. So it should look just like that. As you guys can see on this fire truck right here, we have the two ladders in between. So it should look just like this. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our quartz stairs and we're gonna put down four quartz stairs going toward the front of the fire truck starting from this back red wool block right here. So we're gonna put one right here and then we're gonna go three more over. So it should stop on top of this iron door. We'll do the exact same thing on this side. So we'll put four down. One, two, oh, not upside down. Two, three, four. So it should look just like this. Then what we're gonna do is on top of the glass block here, we're gonna do one on each side upside down. So we want this one to be upside down so it looks just like that. Again, same thing on this side. This one, we wanna be upside down. And then what we're gonna do, as you guys can see on this one, we're gonna put down four in the front facing this direction. So I'm gonna put four in the front, one, two, three, four. And when you go around, almost all of them are normal stairs except the two that are right above the glass blocks. So it should look just like that when you're done. Then once again, guys, we're gonna get back out our brick slabs and as we did in the back, we're gonna put two down, one right here on top of this upside down court stair block and one on this one. And again, these are just the lights on top of the fire truck and make it look a little bit more like a fire truck. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we did in the back. We're gonna fill in the front here with black wool, as you guys can see over here, but we're not gonna fill it in completely. We're just gonna kinda do the top and then the back side here. So honestly, you can do this inside part however you want because no one's really gonna see this. I kinda just match it up with what we have. So we'll go like two red blocks here, two like that. So we kinda have like a plus sign, as you guys can see like that. Um, and then we're basically gonna just fill in the top here. So everything on the top is gonna be red. So it's red all the way over and all the way down. So it looks just like this. Now we're gonna get back out our rails, guys. And as you guys know, on top of fire trucks, they have those lights that go around in circles. If you guys can see over here on the front of this fire truck, you guys can see how we have these little things on the top. The rails actually look like those lights that spin around. So that's why we're doing it like this. So what you can do is you can do the back one first. All you gotta do is put down four rails just like this and it'll make the first circle. And then you can do this one where you put down six and it'll make a completely different little circle so that it's different sizes, it looks really cool and, uh, and your fire truck has really come together. All right guys, the very final step is to decorate the inside of the fire truck. So we'll open the lever here, we'll go inside. As you guys can see, we need a floor. So I'm gonna use white concrete just to match the inside a little bit. Put down six white concrete blocks just like that so that we have a floor. And then we need seats. The only issue is there's not a whole lot of room in here, so you can do this two ways. You can put down one seat on the driver's side and then one in the back so that you can actually get in the fire truck. Unfortunately, you'll only be able to get in from one side, or what you can do is you can only put down one row of seats so that it's just like this. Um, and then you can get in in both doors. The only issue is you can only sit down in the front. So you can kind of do this however you want. The way I did it was I put one on each side um, on the driver's side. So one here and one there and you get in on this side. Um, and then once you have your seats down, however you want to do that. In the front, we're going to put down two levers. So we're we'll going to put down two levers just like that. And then in the back, we're going to put down two buttons. So two buttons in the back, some seats, and two levers in the front. And honestly, again, you can do this however you want, um, but now you have levers to play around with and, uh, and you can close your doors. And that's your fire truck, guys. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to build a fire truck in Minecraft. Hopefully, this, this video wasn't too difficult to keep up with. Um, again, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure to check out my vlogging channel. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. You can go check that out. I've been uploading a lot of cool videos over there. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Can we be